Gang leader continued his testimony today in a federal jail corruption trial. That leader, Tavon White, is the prosecution's key witness, and today we're learning more about how he says he ran the jail. 11 News I team reporter Barry Sims joins us outside federal court now with the details. Barry? Tavon White described how his organization, the Black Gorilla Family, continued to control contraband at the Baltimore City Detention Center, and he also began to tell how other alleged co conspirators participated. Jurors in the federal jail corruption trial heard more from the prosecution's key witness. Tavon White testified he was in control at the Baltimore City Detention Center and that his organization, the Black Gorilla Family, controlled the flow of cell phones, prescription drugs, marijuana, and other contraband. White also outlined how BGF conducted business inside and outside the jail. From contraband sales, he said he made $10,000 to $20,000 a month. Former corrections officer Ralph Johnson Jr. wrote a book about the jail. He is monitoring the trial. Well, he seems pretty credible. He's, I mean, that's, that's jail culture. And he got caught up with a situation, and he's trying to save his neck, and he's giving up everybody else. This is the theme of uh, jail life as we see it today. Prosecutors are trying to show how corrections officers and two inmates were involved in the conspiracy. White testified to handle transactions, $500 or more would be placed on prepaid green dot cards. He said $10,000 in cash was given to an alleged co-conspirator, corrections officer Travis Paler, who was seen in the tan clothing. The money was for the purchase of prescription pain reliever Percocet. White claimed Paler was for a time an important supplier. Attorney Carmen Hernandez would not speak to reporters. She represents Michelle McNair. White identified McNair in court, saying she worked in the kitchen jail. He said she brought marijuana and tobacco and put it into his hands to give to another BGF member. He also claimed that corrections officers Clarissa Clayton and Sergeant Michelle Ricks also smuggled in contraband. Prosecutors played several recorded phone calls. In one, White claimed, this is my jail. I make every final call in this jail. He also said, everything comes to me, everything. And they got to run it through me. White told jurors inmates who sold contraband needed permission from him. When asked if he was concerned about contraband being found in his cell, White said, I always had somebody to hold it for me or places to put it. And he would, quote, feed them, meaning he would give them marijuana or tobacco or allow them to make phone calls as payment. You know, when it's time to save your neck, you're going to give up whoever you have to give up. Now, White admitted to the jury that he had had sexual relationships with several of the corrections officers and that he fathered children while in jail. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.